Well, it started off as a slow morning, but now I'm in a neighborhood sale and it is busy as hell. Uh, first pickups, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 on GameCube, Zelda Twilight Princess, Mario Kart on Wii, and Mario Kart Double Dash. And now I'm gonna get out of the car and go to one of these like 14 garage sales on the street. I should have come to this neighborhood earlier this morning. It's already like 9.40 because a lot of the places are saying they've already sold all their video games. Um, I went to, you know, a bunch of houses uh, this morning that I saw post online that were supposed to have game related stuff. And either they had really crappy stuff like just Guitar Hero games or they actually didn't have the games they thought they did. So. I'm hopefully I'm, I'm asking everywhere now, uh, you know, hey, do you have anything left? Do you have anything maybe you didn't put out? And uh, hopefully that pans out. Well, they're not games, but they're interesting. Boobies. I don't know why these damn things are attracted to me, but um, pink Nintendo handheld systems. Uh, 101 model for five bucks, and it does have the charger, so that's good. I am physically getting dizzy from driving around these neighborhoods now. Just constantly sticking my head out the window. Do you got any games? Jumping out of the car. I'm going to throw up. Um, I did just get for five bucks a Game Boy Advance. It does have the back to it it's over here, but the little tab's broken on it, so you got to tape it on there. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. There's a glare. Well, there it is. And Mario Kart DS on the DS. Um, so that was all five bucks. That was a pretty decent deal. Um, I have a feeling that I am just out a little too late this morning. Um, Frank did pick up some stuff. Uh, looks like he sent me a picture. Looks like he got for nine bucks. He got a decent amount of stuff. So I'll see if um, he's interested in selling any of that. And um, besides that, there's a chance, a slim chance, that uh, a friend of mine has some game stuff for sale this morning. He uh, hasn't texted me yet. He said he was going to text me if he actually uh, pulled it out. <laughs> and uh, and decided to um, to wake up early enough, but it's 10 o'clock. I haven't got a text from him yet, so I think I'm going to give him a call right now. Just picked up two pretty interesting things for 50 cents a piece: a uh, complete and box copy of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons uh, for the Intellivision. Um, it has a little manual. It's complete, so that's really cool. And then just a box, no uh, manual, no game for Mike Tyson Punch Out on NES. Uh, a little crushed, but for 50 cents, you know, whatever. So I called my friend, and he's not going to be able to meet up until later on this evening. So whatever I get from him will just be in a future video. Um, and Frank, uh, he stays up all night when he goes, uh, when he does garage sailing. I guess he says that he can't, like, set an alarm and wake up at, like, 6.30 or 7 in the morning. So he has to literally just stay up all night. Um, so he just went to bed, like, at 10.30 in the morning. So I'll meet up with him maybe also later today. We'll see. Um, but right now I'm heading home. I'm not I'm not out as long as I normally am. Uh, it's only a little after 11, but uh, I am starving and I'm pretty tired myself. I didn't get much sleep last night. I did pick up um, a few more things, which I'll show when I get home, um, like a fat PS2 and some 360 stuff. So at least uh, today was not a bust at all. I did get some some decent stuff, um, but it, it's not quite as. Uh, epically amazing as the last couple of pickups uh, that I've had from garage sales. All right, so the stuff I haven't shown you yet uh, that I got the last garage sale I went to, I waited a half hour at that sale. Um, a couple of the people that were there, they didn't live at that house, so they had to go home and get this stuff and then bring it back. Um, and it took a little longer than they said. They're like, oh, we live like five minutes down the road. And then like 25 minutes later, they're finally back. But um, it was worth it. Uh, a fat PS2, no cables, no controllers, nothing. I told him, don't even worry about you know finding that stuff. If you just have a fat PS2, I'll take it. Um, and then a 360 with a 60 gig hard drive on it, and unfortunately a little bit of uh, graffiti written on there. Um, but it works. It came with the power plug and the audio video cable. They said they had a controller, but they could not find the controller. Um, but it did play. I tested out uh, some of the games that I got with it, and there was no issues. And the games were actually um, some pretty decent titles and a few like newer uh, releases. First, um, definitely not a newer release, uh, Armed and Dangerous on the original Xbox. No manual. Uh, I only picked it up 
because I really loved this game. I own a copy of this myself, um, and I try to recommend it to people. It's absolutely hilarious, um, so I would recommend picking Armed and Dangerous up. And then I got uh, Dead Island Game of the Year Edition, Dead Space 2, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Batman Arkham Asylum, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So the PS2, the 360 system, minus a controller, and these, what, six games was 45 bucks. So I wasn't going to complain that they didn't have the controller that much because they were giving me a good deal overall. And then the stuff that I already had sort of shown you, I'll just go over again. The uh, Sorry, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons in really nice shape. Too bad this game isn't like worth a ton of money or anything because this is in really good condition and complete. Um, then we got the uh, box for Punch Out, which I'll show you. You can see it's a little bit, you know, bent right there, a little smushed on the front, but um, overall nice. Um, I'll see if uh, I can pair it up with a copy of Punch Out. I don't have a copy of Punch Out right now. Um, but I tend to be able to come across them fairly easily. And then we got that uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 on GameCube, Twilight Princess, Mario Kart, Mario Kart Double Dash, and Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. And then I tested both of these out. They both work. Um, at first, the audio... Uh, the audio... <laughs> the sound, the speaker on the SP was a little funky. It kind of kept coming in and out and I sort of like I tightened, I took off the uh, the uh, battery cover on the back and sort of pushed in the battery a little bit more and tightened it down. And The only reason why I did that is because sometimes like the casing um, gets loose or the I don't know if the wires to the speaker inside kind of get a little bit funky but if you sort of uh, tighten up the, the you know the case itself like the screws it sort of you know makes it um, work a little bit better and it seems to work fine now you can hear the audio you know so that it, it's working um, before it would be like bip, 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 bip. Um, but that overall I tried the game out on it and that works as well and that had the charger actually which was nice and then the uh, Game Boy Advance um, I taped on the battery cover on the back so it stopped flopping around, um, but this worked fine as well. And the screen on this one does have lots of very light scratches, but she actually had two. She had one that had two really big gouges in the top, um, so I decided to pass on that one and just grab this one. And then the Mario Kart on DS. And then the only other thing was they had a broken GameCube at the same place I got like the PS2 and 360 stuff. I decided to pass because uh, I really can't do much with a broken GameCube. Like it was broken. The door on the top wasn't even attached to it anymore. Um, but I did grab the uh, audio video cable for that um, since I can easily find something to put that with. And that's it. So not a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't spend a ton of money though. I think I spent like what, 55, 60 bucks or something today, um, and hopefully uh, my uh, friend and Frank, you know, come through with some uh, decent stuff, and I might trade them, or I might trade Frank some uh, some things um, to get some stuff from him, because I know he got uh, some Pokemon games, and I think he also got a copy of Double Dash on the GameCube as well, um, but that's it guys, please thumbs up the video, this right there, and um, I will see you all tomorrow, peace!